Hi there, welcome to Babe Ruth Mania. I'd like to show you a few cool cards from my collection. This one here on the left is a 1931 Babe Ruth, and it's cut from an exhibit, four on one. It's in pretty good condition. I'm going to try to show you as it focuses here. It's a blank back card. Oh, I'm sorry. It has part of the postcard on there from where it was cut. And it's a very rare and hard to find card. And here on the right, I'd like to show you a 1935 Babe Ruth exhibit. Four on one card also cut from a postcard. And it's from 1935. I believe this one is a blank back. There are two other cards that I find very unusual. This one here is a 1947 Sports Exchange 8 grade, a very hard grade to find. I believe there's only one higher. It's one of my favorite cards, one of my highest graded cards. Of Babe Ruth. Anything graded above a six is very hard to find of a Babe Ruth card. As I said, it was graded by SGC. And then here on the right, it's a 1927, and this is graded by AGC, American Grading Company. Not a well known company at all, but it's definitely original. I could show you under the loop, but I'm not going to do that on this video. It's also a hand cut joker, 100% original. You can see the lithograph. Let's see if I can focus. I actually got that card for a steal. The joker, as I mentioned in my other videos, you don't want to find any spider web cracking on the cardstock. Because that's a sign of somebody aging the card. This is definitely the right card stock for the time. You want it to be pretty smooth, but also coarse to the touch. And here's the 1947 Sports Exchange. See if I can get it to zoom in a little. And here's the back. Sports card guarantee. Very clean back. Here we have a 1939 African Tobacco Babe Ruth World of Sports. Graded authentic by SGC. And then here we have a 1919-1921 W514 Babe Ruth hand cut strip card. Very rare and scarce card. I'm going to show you under the loop that these are both authentic. And a way to tell that this card is authentic, I found that most of the authentic versions, that little two on the right hand side, should not be touching that bottom line right there. Right there. If the two is above the line, it's a good chance it's authentic. Also, you can use a loop here and take a look at it. It's hard to see with this camera. And like I said, we have the 1939. This is actually my brother's favorite card out of my collection. Well, it was, and he hasn't seen my collection in a long time. So I'm not sure which one he said he would tell me that he likes the most now. But I'll show you the back of the card. It's very clean. World of Sport. Familiarly known as Babe Ruth, the most famous baseball player in the world and the idol of the American public, his meek and non-belligerent attitude often misleads the pitcher to groove one with fatal results. 
Very cool card. I'll show you the back of the 1919-1921 strip card of Babe Ruth. Those I'll be showing today. 1929 R315 Babe Ruth. And then you have a 1942 Yankees ticket stub signed by Babe Ruth. The story behind this one is uh, the person who had this signed ran into Babe Ruth as he was going into a diner, I believe, in 1942, six years before he passed away. You can see, you can see it's fountain pen. Fountain pen was actually very common for making a big mess when baseball players would write with it. You can see it's all over the back of this card. It's a good sign and it's a genuine autograph because that's common for the time. In the back of this 1929 Cajun I'm sorry, this 1929 R15. I hope I didn't call it occasion publication because that's another uh, exhibit card that I have in my collection. And this one is not the occasion. This is the R315. Very rare. This, this card is just so cool. It looks just like a Topps card to me. You can see the back. It's pretty clean, but there is some marks on it showing its age.